This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 3-4 Prom Number 17. A standard die has 7 as the sum of the dots on opposite faces. The die is put on the first square, as shown, and is rolled toward the right. When the die gets to the last square, what is the total number of dots on the three faces marked with the question marks? A6, B7, C9, D11, or E12? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So let's start by taking a look at the cube and the position it's in when it's on square number one. On this front face, we see two. On the top, we have one. And on this right side, we have three. So let's try to figure out what the sides we can't see are. The side that's right here, hidden on the left, must have four because it's opposite the side with on the right with three. And again, a standard die has seven as the sum of the dots on opposite faces. We also know that the bottom face that is hidden must have six because it's opposite the top face with one. And we also know that the side opposite the two hidden in the across from the side with two in the front must have five because again opposite faces have a sum of seven but we aren't really going to need the five but just in case you're curious it is there in the back the reason that we don't need it is because as we rotate the cube along this axis in that way, the five will always remain hidden and the two will always remain in the front. The difference is the difference between the different um, images we see is going to be the numbers on the top and on this right side. Those are the two faces that are going to be changing as we roll the cube each time. So let's do that. We roll it once, twice, three times, four times. Let's think about what we have after we've rolled it four times. Again, here in the front, we have a two every single time. That's not changing. On the top, we're going to have a one. And on this right side, we'll have a three. Why? Well, because again, we're rolling the cube this way and there's four faces that we're going to alternate between. So after you've rolled it four times, you end up in the same position as the one you started with because you did a full circle. So that's why this cube will look exactly the same as the one we started with in square one. So now let's try to see what we get when we got to square six. Well, again, here in the front, we're still gonna have a two because that never changes. And now let's refer back to the first cube because that's where we drew the hidden faces. So what happens when we rotate this in this direction? One will come down to this question mark over here on the right side. And then the four that was hidden is now going to go to the top when we roll it. So there must be a four in this position at the top. So now let's remind ourselves what the question's asking for. We want to know the total number of dots on the three faces marked with the question marks. So that's one, it's two, it's four, which is a sum of seven. And that's answer choice B. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.